hello guys welcome back to the channel so in the last video we discussed how to import csv files into filament making easier to manage the bulk data uh, if you have not watched the video uh, if you have not watched the video yet then you can check out i'll put the link in the description also i it will be in the top in the i i button so in this video we, I'll share with you five essentials filaments tips and tricks. Uh, this might seem basic, but they are most known techniques that will make your development workflow smoother, right? Uh, so, if you want to read or if you want to directly check the code, you can uh, check the docs uh, article. I have already written on this. So here are the five tips and tricks that we are going to discuss on this video. So I will also put the link of this article in the description below. So uh, let's get started. So first of all, uh, we are going to have a clickable action on table row, right? So what does that mean is, so whenever you click on any table, by default it will be inside the edit page, right? Uh, for example, in, if I go to video, uh, sorry, category, it's in the here if i go to product units it is also inside the edit page so now for example for this part uh, whenever i click on this purchase page what i want to do is i want to open the invoice page instead of this edit page so let's try this so let me go to our purchase resource right so, uh, let's go to our table let me just zoom in uh, let me just remove this from side okay so now what i want here is whenever we click on this now it is inside the edit purchase i want to open the view invoice page so basically it might need uh, for you is to show the view page but now i want to show the invoice page so to that for that we have a f method record url right so it will get the record this means that particular correct current record so now we can return the url so uh, self is just to uh, where is the resource page okay so let's say get url so we want to use the url from the purchase resource and which url i want to use i want to use so i have also discussed to you about this earlier i have the url of this right so i want to use invoice so I just need to copy uh, where it is yeah here invoice and pass the parameter the first one is I need to pass record which is the record ID let's check it right if I will refresh this now if I will click here see here so now I can see the invoice page perfect so this is the tip number one okay let's go to tip number two that is a clickable action on particular column so for this how i can i want to show you is okay let's use this resource only so uh, here the provider right if you remember the provider is from the our providers table so what i want to do is whenever i click on this from purchase resource i want to check the provider details currently whenever i can i click on any record it is opening here so i want to open the provided resource right so for that what we can do is here we can pass the url method and let me just say record and we can return where should we go we should move to uh, provider resource get url let's say i have the view page there i don't have uh, let me just comment it otherwise okay providers if you see here i just have a edit page so i am just redirecting them to edit page okay so now i can pass here i need to pass the record so now record if i will do id remember here then what will happen so here if you see nine not found because the id is 
this particular purchase id so here what i need to pass is provider id that is the relation column right so now if i go here now if i can click on this perfect so here now i have the edit provider is it clear okay so let's move to tip number three so tip number three is redirect users from custom action so whenever you are creating any custom actions uh, we have to if we need to redirect the users then how can we do so for that uh, let's say okay how can I show you let's just add an action and let me just try to redirect it okay so uh, let's say uh, inside the purchase resource I am just going to create in the list purchase I will just add one purchase actions action make let's say uh, print right so inside the print what I need is I need a form okay uh, let me go to purchase what I am doing currently is I want to let's say exp uh, export the list of uh, purchases details in a PDF file then uh, I can just whenever I click on this now I firstly I want to show the form right so let me just copy the form part or let me just okay everything is here so let me just quickly copy okay here is some issue let us only check this now let me just uh, remove this for now okay so sctiy and filament actions and let's say use filament forms okay that's it so for now let us let me refresh the page print so now i have two things i have start date and i have end date so whenever we are printing uh showing the pdf page let's say we are going redirecting from admin panel to a custom page right so for that purpose uh let me just quickly uh create the route file here and let me say okay i need tenant and then let's say print records uh, i am just uh, okay i will just uh, use here only for now and then tenant right okay what did i do here okay i mis misspelled this okay so for now uh, i'm not going to do any advanced things for here so let me just dd the tenant i'm just showing you or let's say dd request data let's say request all okay what are there in the request so if you want uh, this video of printing records in a pdf format then you can comment uh, below so i i will just help you on that too so now let me just name this route so it will be easier for me mm, print print pdf let's say right now let me go to here and if i will pass url then url is not able to take these parameters right but i need those parameters to be passed for filter so now what i can do is i can use axon and here axon will get the data right so now now i can re return redirect route the route name is print pdf and and sorry let me just copy and then first i need to pass the tenant which is my uh, filament get tenant id then what i can pass is let's say start date so which is on dollar data uh, start date right start date 
so in date dollar data in date let's check it let's say it will work or not let me try to print a 21 28 submit okay here is some errors okay i didn't make my bad i need to make this as variable yeah here it is uh, now we have this all three params so now now here we can show the pdf if you need so if you want this video you can comment down below i can i will help you to create that video too okay so this is our tip number three hope you have understand that so now tip number four okay improve performance of dynamic form fields in filament let me show you in our last video uh, let's say in our processes right here we have oh, okay if you have not watched this video also i will put the link in the description below so you can go and watch this how we have managed that so here let me just select laptop and let's say price will be this if you see whenever i am typing fast let's say okay it's it's not reflecting actually right if you see sometimes the it's removing the existing data if whenever i will type try to type fast if you can see so how can you improve this performance so for that also we need to add the validation because i am getting string to string okay so for that part let me go to purchase resource and forms so not product id let's say reactive here right so let's say price price is updating the form data right so what i can do is i can use live on blur true on okay my mistake on blur to true so now what will this does is this will only focus off after some seconds let me just try price right let's say quantity is 23 so now i can clearly type and the change is reflecting whenever the focus is out if you can see if i now same thing to quantity live on blur true let me just quickly now let's say 100 and now i can type in my own way whenever i whenever i click on anywhere means the focus is out of that quantity field it's automatically calculated so in this way we can also improve the performance of the dynamic fields okay so now tip number five implement table row recording so what do you mean by this is sometimes we may need to sort our records uh, currently in our cases there is no use case of this right so let's say for uh, for now we'll just uh, for to show you i'll just use the category so what i want is i want to sort these categories right I want user to sort them and whenever they are creating a new product the category will be on the basis of that particular sort so for that what we can do is first of all the first thing is we need one and column in database to keep track of their records so if I go to create categories there is no any record for that so let me quickly mig migrate migration file uh, migration add sort to categories table right table equals to categories so now okay so here what i can use is dollar table integer or unsigned big integer let's say um, order and let's say default will be zero and let's me drop dollar table drop column and then order 
right let me quickly migrate this so now that's it okay so now how we are going to implement this is so if i go to category resource table now to for that we have a method reorderable ord reorderable and the column name that we just created order now if you click here see here we have the box sorry icon right if i click here now i can sort the records but if you see here still the hardware is and first and software is in second but whenever i click on this software is, is on first and hardware this is because they are sort by the table created it so for that also uh, let's say it's the tip number six bonus tips for you we have a order column method right here we can pass the column name let's say order and i want it on the ascending order if i will refresh this okay not the order column uh, order what was the name i just forget uh sort order default sort i think my bad okay let's say order and then ascending right so let me quickly refresh now you can see softwares and hardware if i will just create a latest and then go back so now latest is in the front because we have created it to use as a default value so for that also if you can customize the query and uh, have uh, whenever you are creating the category you can always make that new category will be at the least last one if you want that particular video also you can comment down below i will be there to help you so thank you guys for watching this video hope you will love this video and please subscribe to the channel thank you so much